All right, so now that we've covered how to take the derivative of an exponential function, we've covered the chain rule, we can take the derivative of any power function. All right, so before we get there, let's do a quick chain rule example on an exponential function. All right, so let's say we had f of x equals e to the 3x. All right, so this is exponential function of 3x, right? So if we want to apply the chain rule to find this derivative, right? We want to split this up into a composition, right? So step one was split into a composition. So this says, okay, our first, our outermost function will be, let's call it f of g, right? That will be e to the g, right? This is our outermost function. And then our innermost function will be what's sitting in the exponent, right? So that'll be x, sorry, g of x equals 3x, right? This is our inner function. I guess outermost, since there's only two, it's just the outer function. Right? Outer function and inner function, right? The outside function is this exponential. Inside function would be the exponent, okay? So then we compute these derivatives separately, right? So f prime of g is dg, sorry, df dg, right? That gives me e to the g, right? Derivative with respect to g is just e to the g, right? Derivative of an exponent, exponential function is just the same exponential function, right? And then the derivative of this inner function, right? g prime of x, that's dg dx, that's the slope of this line, that gives me three, okay? And then we'd say, okay, well then the derivative of x, right? This is f of g of x, right? That's f prime df dx, right? That's df dg times dg x. And so that gives us e to the g times three, right? And then step four, we substitute in the inner function, right? g of x equals three x. And we get f prime of x equals three e to the three x. Okay, and this is generally gonna be the rule with these exponentials, right? So in general, by using the chain rule, this is always gonna be the case, right? For f of x equals e to the alpha x, f prime of x will be alpha times e to the alpha x, right? This is just gonna be applying the chain rule to this function. Right, where you have outermost, outermost function is this exponential, innermost function is this alpha, so then the derivative would be, leave this one alone, multiply by the derivative of the inside. Okay, so that gives you alpha e to the alpha x, for any alpha, right? Okay, so then that brings us to the power function. Right, so recall that a power function is anything of the form r to the x, right? where you have some base number, r, to the x power. So an example of this would be like f of x equals two to the x, right? Two raised to the x power. So x isn't the variable, uh, it's, it's the variable, but it's not the base, it's actually inside the exponent of some other number, okay? So how do we compute these derivatives? Well, the trick is to use what we know about exponentials, right? So step one, rewrite as an exponential. So we have f of x equals two to the x. This is the same thing as e, right, to the ln of two to the x, right? We take the logarithm of both sides and then the e of both sides, Right, this would cancel out and we'd be left with two to the x, right? And then we can factor this out to get e to the x times ln of two. Right, so here it's inside the natural log and here it's, it's the x has been pulled out because of, it's an exponent so you can pull outside the log. Right, so now our function is f of x is an exponential of x times some factor, right? This is the same thing as e to the alpha x. Where alpha equals natural log of two. Right, so if we apply the chain rule to this derivative, right, f prime of x, right, we get alpha e to the alpha x. We plug in our alpha, that gives us ln of two e 
So x ln of 2 or ln of 2 e to the ln of 2 to the x. And that gives us ln of 2, right? Natural log of 2 times 2 to the x. Okay, so for f of x equals 2 to the x, the derivative is ln of 2 times 2 to the x, right? And so this is always going to be the case for any power function, right? So for any power function, right, let's say we have f of x equals r to the x, the derivative of this power function will be r to the x times natural log of r, right? And this includes e, right? The case r equals e is special, right? E, remember, is a special number because it is the base power for which the derivative is then the same function, right? So for r equals e, right, f of x equals e to the x. Derivative, according to this rule, is e to the x times ln of e. Ln of e is just one, right? Ln of e is e to the x times ln of e to the one, which just gives me e to the x times one, or e to the x, right? So e to the x is this special number for which the derivative is exactly itself, okay? Other powers, right, other power functions with base r take this form in the derivative. It's r to the x, so similar to e, you still have that e term sitting there, so the r to the x term sitting here, times the natural log of that r, right? And that's coming from, you know, making this e substitution and, and taking the derivative using the chain rule and then resubstituting back in that power, okay? So let's do one more example and then, and then we'll end this video. Let's say, um, let's say f of x is equal to four times three to the x. Okay, and let's do three to the two x, right? There's a couple ways to do this. We can't multiply the four in at this point because three is to an x power, right? So we can't multiply this together. We could rewrite this as four times three squared to the x, which would give us four times nine to the x, right? So we could do this or this way, and we'll show that we get the same answer, okay? So f prime of x is equal to, if we use this way, so let's do this in blue, f prime of x would be, constant product rule says leave the four there, Derivative of 3 to the 2x would be 2 times 3 to the 2x, right? So the derivative of that inside function times this function times ln of 3, okay? So that would give me uh, 4 times 2, so this would give me 8 ln of 3 times 3 to the 2x, okay? We could do it using this one here, right? We'll get the same sort of thing. And if I do that derivative, right, f prime of x is equal to four times um, ln of nine times nine to the x, right? And this is the same exact thing, right? This is four ln nine times nine to the x, right? If I look back at this, they don't look the same, right? But really this is, uh, you know, by, by using log rules, right, this is four times two ln three times nine to the x, right? So that's just doing this three squared first. And then this two we can pull into there to get four times ln of three squared nine to the x, right? This gives me four ln of nine, nine to the x, right? They're, they're all the same. So there's always gonna be several ways to compute these derivatives and just do whatever kind of occurs to you in the moment. Just go with that method first, as opposed to trying to figure out all the different ways that you can compute the same thing in the same way, okay?